So you just got a Goofy TV backlight T2 or even the old generation, but you are not getting the best results. Are you searching for the best calibration in just a couple of minutes? And why you should even move your camera from the top to the bottom like I have in here. If you want to know everything about it, stay tuned until the end of the video. Hi everyone, Marcus here from Edpack, and if you love tech, this is the place for you. And today we are going to talk about the backlights that I have here, the Goovy Backlights TV T2, and what is the best calibrations that you can take out of your backlight TV. As we all know, Goovy make their products to put the camera on the top. But for more calibrations that I try with the camera on the top, I was not really able to take the best results. And I'm going to tell you why you definitely need to move your camera to the bottom, otherwise you are not really going to be able to sort this out in the best way as possible. In other words, if you have a stand that is quite reflective, and in this case I have my Sony A95K in a stand that is pure glass, that light that is reflecting on my stand was reflecting back to the camera. So in other words, I was having issues on the bottom of my TV and the light was not matching whatsoever. I thought, let me just move around the camera, put it on the bottom and maybe in this way I could just sort this issue. And it happens because if you think about it, when we go up, first of all, the ceiling is much, much higher than the bottom of my stand and also it's white so in other words it's not going to really be reflective because also it's not glass that i have in there besides the fact that it's not so intrusive that camera on the top and also you have less risk that you just pass close to your tv and you hit your camera it falls and you can damage your camera so for that reason please put your camera on the bottom and you are going to see a massive improvement if you take this step another big reason why you don't obtain the best results with your Goovy TV is because you think if I want the most accurate color I need to bring the brightness to the maximum, I need to bring the saturation to the maximum but it's not. I'm going to tell you how to do that and also you need to understand that the Goovy TV Backlight T2 the LEDs are much stronger in red colors so when we do the calibration we'll need to push more to the blue ones but let's jump onto the settings so you'll be able to understand what to do to obtain the best results and to obtain exactly the same ones that I'm taking here. So here we have the app of Goovy, at least this is the look of the app when you are on your iPhone. And the first thing that you want to move around is here on the top, the movie watching stream view. And you can come after to the bottom, you can see here, first option, same brightness you want to tick this on, otherwise you can't control the brightness here on the bottom. And I see many of you guys pushing the brightness to the maximum, but if you do this, first of all, the backlight is going to be too distractive, and also if you push too much the brightness, it's going to make the colors not accurate whatsoever. As you can see here, the saturation is at 1%, you need to do that, and I'll explain you in a bit. I have obviously selected parts to change the color, not all in once. And also when mine came, it was selected in game and also it was not so accurate, so change that to movie. When we go back on the app, you are going to get other brightness here and you need to change this also to 40%, the same that I've done on the movie watching Dream View. And if you scroll down, you have here relative brightness if you press there, you can change how bright is the sides or the top. If that's something that you want to do, you can, but in my case, I didn't change anything. And this one is super, super important, color calibration. And I promise you guys that I will explain why I have the saturation in one. So in this case, when we talk about calibration, the calibration is based in whites, reds and blues and when more saturation you do more reds you get and these leds are very very red so if you push this up it's going to give you a lot of reds a lot of yellows and greens but it's going to basically destroy your blues so in other words your blues they will look more like a purple and after you have this little arrow that you are going to move around in this bar and you have some lines that i'm not sure if it appears 
on the video but you are going to count the lines and put on the option number 8 and after you just have to press done so I was just editing this video and I just forgot to show you this the Goofy thinks that the camera is on the top but you put the camera on the bottom so you have to come here on the corner the top corner to go on settings and after you have here saying light strip installation direction you press it it's going to show you all the options available and obviously the drawing that you see here is with the camera on the top so what you need to do is you need to rotate your phone upside down and you need to see how you have installed your strip so in my case I put first this side and after on the top so definitely is not this option is not this option is not this option so is this one so this is the one that I want since I have already selected after I just have to press confirm and that's it everything it's done so this is my tips to calibrate your Goofy TV backlight T2 if you don't have seen my full review of this product feel free to check the other video and if this was helpful please leave in the comments below subscribe to the channel and if you are looking to other products for smart home there are coming so many more and other backlights for your TV that I'm going to put side by side with this one. My name is Marco, this is Matt Peck. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below, smash the thumbs up, do whatever you want, but always with a smile on your face. And I hope to see you in the next one.